Coming up, the Attorney General's court date arrives. What could be released from the court proceedings? Plus, the victim of a gift card scam explains how it could happen to just about anyone. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg will not be present during his scheduled first court appearance today in Hughes County. His attorney, Tim Wrench, tells Kelly Land News he'll be appearing on his behalf without his presence, which is standard with Class 2 misdemeanors. Roundsburg is facing three misdemeanor charges in connection with hitting and killing a Highmore man with his car last September. The case has made national headlines. Friday's appearance will also be the focus of a lot of media attention as we'll be able to get an audio recording of the proceedings. Roundsburg's appearance is scheduled for 4 o'clock Central Time. Kelly Land News will be in the courtroom and will have a full report on air and online. We've heard a lot about gift card scams, but we don't always hear from the victims. This woman, who we'll call Mary, fell for a scam involving a government grant. She thought she was communicating through Facebook with a trusted friend. Mary says she wishes she had listened to her conscience when the person asked for $550 in iTunes gift cards. You know, at that point, I was still, it's like, okay, this, that was a red flag. It's like, something doesn't feel right here. But if, you know, this friend says that it's okay, it's legitimate, I believed her. It turns out the friend's Facebook page had been hacked and the whole thing was a scam. Mary says she's telling her story to warn others that anyone asking for payment through a gift card is probably trying to steal your money. Turning to weather now, our weather rebounding after the latest winter storm. Let's send it over to meteorologist Scott Munn for a check of our current conditions. Yeah, it's something we'll have to continue to watch. We are looking at warm temperatures as we go through at least the first half of the weekend and then Things start to change by the time we get into the second half of the weekend and early next week as we're watching the storm system that will eventually move across the central plains. Right now, it's trying to suggest that we'll see some heavy snowfall into western and southwestern South Dakota. It's something we will continue to monitor as we do go through this coming weekend. A lot of moisture with this one as well. We'll have things start in the form of rain in eastern and southeastern Kelloland. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. The UK variant of COVID-19 is now in South Dakota. On Thursday, health officials announced two cases of the UK variant in Minnehaha County. The state epidemiologist says it shows similar symptoms to COVID-19. He also says all three vaccines being distributed right now are effective against this vaccine. Meanwhile, Minnesota has confirmed the Brazilian and South African variants. Dr. David Basil with Avera Health says they will particularly be watching for the South African one to make its way to South Dakota. And that one's even a little bit scarier than the UK variant. The UK variant is a pretty mild mutation uh, that still uh, doesn't escape too much of everything going on. The South African is a little bit more significant mutation uh, that requires a higher concentration of immunity to be able to fight it, a little bit higher concentration of antibodies to be able to fight it. The people in Minnehaha County with the UK variant are now recovered. As the push to get people vaccinated for COVID-19 continues, another crucial part of Group 1D is now eligible. On Thursday, 100 teachers rolled up their sleeves to receive their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine at Avera's vaccination clinic. For some, it was a relief. It feels like a weight off of our shoulders, and I think most people are feeling that way. I know my coworkers too. Um, Actually, I have a couple of coworkers who have COVID right now. So, you know, it's like, okay, we got to get this done. This is enough. Avera plans to continue doing vaccination clinics similar to Thursdays as long as the demand is high. Availability for teachers next week at the Avera Clinic could be as many as 600 to 800 slots. We're on the second day of the Sioux Empire Sportsman Show. Kelly Lance Max Sofer joins us from the event with what you need to know for the weekend. Max? Thanks, you too. That's right, the show is back and it is bigger than ever this year. Now, it kicks off at noon today and will feature events such as pro anglers Ted Takasaki and Joe Henry to talk about fishing. And there will also be a live trout pond for kids. And of course, Twiggy this water skiing squirrel will be here and doing his thing. Now, it's $10 for adults, $2.50 for kids between the ages of 6 and 12, and free for children 5 and under. Now, the show will also be following current CDC guidelines. Uh, they have a mask mandate through Saturday after the city of Sioux Falls ends. Now it starts at noon today and goes through Sunday. Reporting live in Sioux Falls, Max Hofer, Kelloland News. 
Thanks, Max. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather headlines for the weekend. Well, we do have this to start off with. A winter storm watch in effect for southwest South Dakota, including the Black Hills. And all the way down into western Nebraska, winter storm warnings are already posted for portions of Wyoming. And this story will gradually continue to increase as the weekend goes on. So Saturday is not necessarily um, the main part of this. We're going to wait till Sunday for much of the southwest. But even at that point, uh, Sioux Falls is going to start to get rain and eventually a conversion to snow a little later on. Let's go through the timeline. This is future cast today. High pressure still around in Minnesota. That's keeping our weather pretty fair. Otherwise, uh, some high cirrus clouds will be coming up from the south. And I think that tomorrow we definitely will be looking at increasing cloud cover from the south due to this system. There's all that rain. Kansas, Missouri to start off with. Area of low pressure will congeal across far western Kansas and Oklahoma. Heavy snow in Colorado and eventually heads right there into Wyoming and southwest South Dakota through Sunday morning. Now at that point in the forecast, we think that there will be a band of rain that will go into Nebraska, but it will come only so far north because of a driving east wind that's effectively going to set up a brick wall and that dry wind leads to a lot of evaporation. So it's going to be a very slow progression into northeastern Ketherland. In fact, I think it could take much of the day, if not the entire day, to reach Aberdeen. And you folks in the northeast are on the lower end of our moisture predictions. Now the Black Hills is just the opposite. That wind's going to be piling in from the east and it's going to set up heavy snow. I think this system really has the, uh, all the hallmarks of the largest one of the season in the west, in the Black Hills. I think we could go way over a foot of snow in the, especially the higher elevations there. And then you look at Sioux Falls and a transition from rain to snow could be problematic. Again, that's a variable we'll need to continue to watch and how many headlines come out about with that. But the risk of six inches of snow is high in places like Rapid City, Phillip, and Pine Ridge Sunday through Monday morning and even into Monday afternoon to wrap it up. I think Sioux Falls has a moderate risk. In other words, it's a 50-50 shot that we could get to six inches of snow here on Monday. So that's something of significance. 50 today, Sioux Falls. Again, sunshine, quiet weather tonight. We're looking at those clear skies, 28 Sioux Falls. I do expect that uh, as we get into the uh, spring forward, our daylight saving time change, we're going to be cooling down. We're going to have moisture, lots of it. Sioux Falls, grand total of water accumulating out of this system is probably at least an inch. Now, there's another system by Wednesday, and the wild card is where will that go? And we're still a little early on that. But we do think Aberdeen will be sliding on temperatures next week. Cooler air. Again, as advertised, the total amount of rain, though, and snow for Aberdeen is going to be much less than Sioux Falls. And I also think that, Pierre, you're kind of sandwiched in between. You're looking at moderate amounts of snow and wind and Rapid City, certainly the higher end totals in the Black Hills. Lots to say there. Storm Center update at Kelloland.com, a good resource to check out. Stay with us.